Right, guys, it's Twid Day. And that might be the first time I've called it Twid without first calling it Twab. But we get just a couple of updates here from Bungie today, ahead of the showcase next week for the final shape and the launch of Season 22. It isn't an absolutely massive update, so keep that in mind. But as always, we'll jump in and break it down. So I hope you find it useful. And if you do, get subscribed so I can keep you posted with more Destiny content. But otherwise, let's jump into it. And so first up today, we do get a teaser trailer for the final shape showcase. And so in case you haven't seen it already, let's check it out in full. So a pretty cool short clip right there. First up, we see the witness and there are some pretty spooky reflections in their eyes right there. And then we see a bunch of guardian ships. They line up and point themselves at the portal in the Traveller before heading full steam ahead straight through. It's pretty cool as they go through, almost a sort of kaleidoscope effect right there. Then of course we get the text for the showcase, which we can tune into on August 22nd at 9am PDT. So the main bulk of that showcase will kick off immediately before the weekly reset, about an hour before the typical reset time. And of course inside of that showcase we'll get a look at Final Shape and Season 22, and that'll be followed with the launch of Season 22 itself, so it's going to be a pretty live day, but as always I'll be here to keep you posted with the news and updates, as well as the new content in this season coming up, so get subscribed and turn on notifications so I can keep you posted. Moving to the TWAP section though, right here, as we spoke about earlier on, Bungie have teased a little bit of a cutscene screenshot for Season 22, where we get a better look at some of the armor that we'll be able to earn in the season. So yes, this appears to be seasonal armor, earlier on I referred to it as potentially final shape armor. That's because I misread Bungie's tweet, but let us know what you think of it down below. And it looks like we'll get some action from Akora, as well as Imaru, Savathun's ghost, as part of Season 22, and some pretty spooky armor there, which is kind of cool as well. Otherwise, in the twid, they say special delivery. Another detail you'll note coming in Season 22 is a new special delivery kiosk located in the tower. This new addition is an easy to access vendor that players can interact with when chatting up Master Raoul and Banshee 44. And in terms of the deliveries we can expect to snag from the vendor, they say it includes rewards like Bungie Foundation incentives and Twitch drops, general Bungie rewards, deluxe edition items, as well as collector's edition items, secret stash items, pre-order bonuses, and more. Which is probably a good move there. Sometimes when you unlock an emblem, you have to head into your collections and kind of root through until you can find it. So that could be a nice little update for the game right there. Share your thoughts down below. But in the twit, they also talk about Guardians for Maui and the devastating wildfires which were fueled by hurricane force winds that struck Hawaii recently. So beginning today, the Bungie Foundation is launching a fundraising campaign to directly support relief and recovery efforts across Hawaii. And that does include a pretty cool t-shirt right there, actually quite a nice design. And the same for the emblem as well. So Guardians can support the mission by purchasing a specially designed shirt made in collaboration with Asians at Bungie. And each shirt purchased also includes the code for the emblem, which they say will be delivered via email after September 5th, so pretty cool initiative to support right there considering what's been going on in Hawaii, and some really nicely designed rewards there too. So extra details about that are in the TWAB, or the TWID, there we go, we did it again. On the subject of emblems though, they say our Twitch streams bring all the drops to the yard, and they're back as a small token of appreciation for Guardians tuning in to the upcoming showcase. So if anyone fancies picking up that new emblem, which immediately reminded me of Astacross's logo, I think it's just the triangular shape and the colors there. It's a pretty nice one. They say you'll need to make sure that your Twitch account is linked to your Destiny 2 account to be eligible, and then simply tune in to any of the official Bungie Twitch channels. And of course, on August 22nd from 9 a.m. Pacific, we'll get the showcase, and for folks who watch at least 30 minutes of that, of course, with that eligibility unlocked, we'll be able to get access to that new emblem. So also there are details about that in the Twit. But here they talk about upcoming regional pricing updates and starting on the 22nd of August, they'll be making routine territory specific pricing adjustments due to foreign exchange rate fluctuations and regional discrepancies. These evaluations typically happen each year to account for variances in economic conditions across multiple regions. And while US dollar currencies won't be affected, other currencies, including ARS, INR, KWD, KZT, PHP, TRY, VND, and others, which I'm honestly not sure where those are actually from, maybe you can give us some insights, but they will see increases or decreases of varying degrees for pricing of silver packs, catalog expansions, new expansion sales, with the aim of balancing pricing fairly across all territories. 
And they say regional pricing adjustments specific to silver packs and catalog expansions will begin rolling out on September 6th. So keep that in mind as well. We'll have to see what they turn out like. But otherwise, there is an update 720 release schedule here. So at 6 a.m. next Tuesday, maintenance will begin. That'll be Pacific time. With D2 being bought offline at 7.15 a.m. Pacific, and then at 10 a.m., D2 will be bought back online and update 720 will be playable on all platforms and regions. So essentially, that's the normal reset time. Of course, they say Destiny 2 will be playable. Maybe that's slightly hopeful. Hopefully not. But there we go, outside of end of season warnings, mainly relating to rewards and kind of vendor engrams and things like that, which we have touched on before, that pretty much summarizes the twit. So I hope the video has been interesting, guys. Little teasers for the showcase and some orientation for next week. So hopefully we'll have a good season 22 launch and of course showcase for final shape. But otherwise, that's what we have to round up. So I hope you found the video useful. And if you have, a rating below really does help us out. But otherwise, for this quick twid update, thank you for tuning in and I hope you guys have an awesome day.